no deal yet, but they are still talking. According to a person familiar with the plan, the Treasury Secretary is offering a package worth $1.6 trillion, and that includes $250 billion in state and local aid and $400 a week in enhanced unemployment benefits. Now, that is less than what Democrats had said that they would accept, so it's unclear if they would be willing to move forward with those numbers. Now, in addition, there would also be $150 billion for education, $75 billion for testing and tracing, $60 billion in rental and mortgage assistance, and $15 billion in food aid. Now, Mnuchin and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi met yesterday in her office for roughly an hour and a half. They were supposed to speak again last night. And in a statement, Pelosi described their conversation as extensive, and she said that she's seeking clarification on a number of other issues. Democrats had intended to hold a vote last night on their own $2.2 trillion proposal, but they held off on that to give Mnuchin and Pelosi a few more hours to try to reach a deal. However, if talks fall through today, Democrats say that they are planning to bring their bill to the floor for a vote and then head home until after the election. Guys. Is there any sense of whether Democrats or Senate Republicans uh, would uh, would would ultimately go for uh, would, would go for the White House offer? Yeah, and speaking to Democrats, I think that two hundred and fifty billion dollars for state and local would be a tough number for them to swallow. But we'll see exactly how that is structured. The other issue, which I'm trying to still get more information on, is liability protections. How long would those last? exactly what are the details of how that provision would be written. Those are some other outstanding issues. And then as far as Senate Republicans, Mitch McConnell said yesterday that the two sides are very, very far apart. So it seems like there's still a sales job to be done. There.